If you have high cortisol, then you probably want to listen to this one. If you're someone by the end of the day, your energy starts to go really, really low, but then at nighttime, suddenly you've got a second wind of energy and you're doing the nighttime zoomies and talking your partner's absolute head off while you're laying in bed, then you likely have high cortisol. The reason behind this is because melatonin and cortisol have this bi-directional relationship. So in the morning, cortisol should go up and that's what gets us out of bed in the morning. And at nighttime, what should happen is cortisol should go down and melatonin should go up and then we should be able to fall asleep really easily. However, if you're getting a second wind of energy, it just means that cortisol is having a second spike rather than melatonin going up. And this means that you've likely been in a stress state for a prolonged period of time. So cortisol is not the demon here. We need cortisol to get us out of bed in the morning and for our stress response. However, what we really need to do is address the root cause of our stress and make sure that we're implementing relaxation techniques, time out and some grounding time in nature as well. So if you're wanting some tips and tricks on how to regulate your cortisol, comment the word cortisol in the comments.